In this video, we are taking a look at the press conference of Manuel Franco, who won a massive $768 million Powerball jackpot in 2019. At the time, it was the third largest lottery amount in the history of the United States. If you are new to this channel, my name is Timothy Schultz. I actually also am a Powerball winner. 1999, I won the Powerball before going back to college to study journalism, broadcast news, and work on various productions. But I am now launching this podcast whereby I'm meeting and interviewing other lottery winners and people who have defied the odds in life. If you want to watch any of these interviews, we will put links to them below this video. But without further ado, let's Let's dive into this press conference. I just want to start by saying thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout the years. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so my name is Manuel Franco. I am actually uh, 24 years old. Um, I really wish that I was a New Berlin resident. I know that a lot of people in New Berlin really wanted a New Berlin resident. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, I am actually um, from West Dallas, and I. That's pretty much my home for a while. Um, so the story that uh, how I won is a bit of a tale. At uh, around 2 p.m., I had left work, and uh, I pretty much felt lucky. You know, it's, it's a weird lucky feeling. It's not natural, not normal at all. Uh, but I walk into the Speedway in New Berlin, and I purchase um, ten dollars worth of individual, um, well, Powerball tickets, and. Uh, I honestly felt so lucky that I did look up at the camera and I really wanted to wink at it because I, I just had that lucky feeling and I, and I know uh, Cindy here has seen it and she knows that it is true that I, I did look up at that camera because I really did feel lucky. Um, didn't wink so I'm kind of disappointed in that but uh, that's all right. Um, I did stop at that Speedway 13 minutes after work. I don't know if I said that or not. So I just want to pause this right there. So he said that he was feeling lucky and went in to buy this ticket at, I believe it was a convenience store, but he purchased $10 worth of tickets, was feeling lucky and felt so lucky that he looked up at the camera and felt like winking at it. I mean, <laughs> this story, I love, I love this. I love this. Let's, let's keep going and see what he says here. So how I ended up finding out that I won, I actually do not watch the drawings at nighttime. I didn't even check in the morning. I went to work not even knowing any better to check my, my tickets. Um, oh boy. I uh, went, left work that day. And I remember at work hearing that, uh, you know, Powerball winner Wisconsin, and I never thought two things about it at all. I got home and I see the tickets that me and my girlfriend had bought together and that's really what reminded me of the Powerball. I uh, went to go grab those two tickets that we had bought together and I went on my computer and I searched up the Powerball numbers and you know all the news articles that you see underneath the, the Powerball numbers said Wisconsin winner and I'm like well I live in Wisconsin so I probably got a chance you know. Like, that's, that's all I knew. And uh, I went through the tickets that me and her had bought together and nothing, so uh, I, I was disappointed. Um, I go into my wallet and I reach for the tickets that I had bought, those $10 worth of tickets, so all individual, and I go through them. And uh, I think it was the third ticket. I did win $4 and I was super excited about that. <laughs> but it doesn't happen very often, so never claimed it, by the way, the four bucks. Um, I get to what I thought was the last ticket and uh, it didn't win, obviously. Uh, I had all the tickets in my left hand, and I swapped them over to my right because I was discarding them as I went. And uh, all of a sudden, as I change hands, I see that last ticket come out. It was, it was so attached to the other one. And I'm thinking, oh my god, like, no way. And as dramatically as I, I've said it to many of my friends and families, I looked at it one number at a time, and I saw that first number. I didn't think anything of it, but I knew that it was something special because I normally don't get the first number. It's always the fourth or the fifth or, you know, just the Powerball. And I see that second number and then my heart starts to, to pump and whatnot. And at that moment, I'm like, no, no freaking way, you know. Like, I pull that ticket in front of it off and I go straight to that Powerball number and I look at it and it matched. And uh, at this moment, I was going insane pretty much. And I look back at the three other numbers and they all matched and 
I don't want to embarrass myself in live TV right, right now, but uh, what I can explain is uh, it it was amazing. My heart started racing, blood pumping. It, my blood felt warm. I screamed for about five or ten minutes. Uh, good thing that my neighbors didn't hear, you know. Um, it's uh, it's really amazing to, to just win. The level of euphoria, the level of adrenaline, the level of excitement, it can be and is for a lot of people absolutely through the roof. I mean, it is up there and it takes a while to come back down after this has happened. But I mean, that is incredible and I completely empathize. And for myself and for a lot of people I've met and interviewed, they've had similar experiences. When you see all of the numbers matching and lining up it feels like a dream and it feels like a movie everything can change like that very very quickly so good for him let's get back to this now so i played powerball since i first could when i was 18 years old six years ago so i am 24. um my very first birthday when i was 18 i did actually buy a powerball ticket so it's it's great to actually win for once <laughs> and how awesome is that that he was 24 i mean people win the lottery at all ages but the fact that he was 24 how awesome is that when i won way back in the day i was 21 years old and sometimes people do win at a very early age which makes it i think all the better good for him so uh, obviously everyone always hopes um when you buy a ticket to actually win it and i can tell you right now that when i won i wasn't i wasn't ready for it i wasn't ready for it at all and uh i, I got that paranoia that you get and or you think the whole world's after you and now i found out that realistically if you don't tell anybody nobody knows and that's how i guess i got to hear wow so he's saying that he felt paranoia after he won which i can identify with because after I won back in the day, and I felt very uncomfortable initially, kind of like a fish out of water, because it's a huge thing. And psychologically, there's a lot that can happen if you just suddenly come across, in this case, hundreds of millions. I mean, you can imagine how that can change a lot <laughs> of things. And it seems like he's being wise, but let's keep watching here. So, I'm not sure what the next chapter is going to bring for my life. Um, but I have been setting up the, the best financial team, the best lawyer team that I could. Um, I just really want to thank Andrew here because he made me much more confident in myself to be here to claim that ticket. And without him, I don't think that uh, I would be, a, I'd be here right now talking. But uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's amazing. It feels like a dream and it feels honestly like any moment I'm going to wake up and. I'm just gonna be back in my room, you know, my bed and laying, and it's gonna be a disappointment, but I can see that you guys are all here and it's not that way. <laughs> I just wanna pause that real quick. He assembled a team of, sounds like financial advisors and attorneys prior to turning in the ticket, which is very, very wise. That's very smart. I highly recommend that for anybody if you win a major lottery jackpot. And secondly, he said that it felt like a dream and he was just waiting to wake up. And that is exactly, not that our situations are the same, but I felt that same way. It felt like a dream that I couldn't wake up from. So let's keep watching here. I simply just can't believe that an ordinary guy like me could ever win ever win the, the Powerball. And the two, two dollars you spend on the ticket um, for that hope that you'd win is, is it's worth it and I know that because I've won but uh, it is realistically worth it and it's amazing um, thank you guys for being here and that's uh, that's all I have to say about my statement I will answer a couple questions after could you sleep at all last night oh, knowing that today was coming I couldn't sleep any any day I, three four <laughs> hours a day you know that's about it yeah. <laughs> It is very hard to sleep. It was for me. It is for a lot of people I meet and interview. If you win, it's very hard. The level of adrenaline and euphoria, the happy chemicals in your brain. I mean, it is out of this world, or at least it can be. So I completely understand how it'd be difficult to sleep. What are the first things you plan on doing with your money? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, right now, what I do know is that I want to take a break 
Um, want to just let it sink in, make sure I'm not making any bad decisions or anything like that. I do want to be responsible. I do help. I do want to help out the world and you know places, but I have to do it correctly and I have to make sure that my future is secure. So he's going to he's saying that he is going to take a break and kind of take a step back and reassess his life with what he is going to be doing, which I think is very very smart and very wise. I mean, it can change a lot of things, especially when you're talking about hundreds of millions. So what are you suddenly going to do if you retire at the age of 24? Or in my case, it was the age of 21. What are you suddenly going to do if this happens, especially at a young age in your 20s? You have to sort of recalibrate your life. You have to re-envision your path. You have to create a whole new reality because everything's changed financially. It can change so many things. And I don't know if he went back to work or not. I'm assuming not, but maybe we'll find out. I don't know. Let's keep watching here. Any more? Taking the annuities or the cash? Uh, after discussion, I wanted to take the annuity, but I have been convinced otherwise, so I am taking the lump sum. And Manuel Franco did take the lump sum, which was $477 million before taxes. That is amazing. Have you had people come out of the woodwork yet? Are you prepared for that? Uh, I'm ready and I know how to say no to random people. Um, but if he's related, he, I gotta give him something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am ready for that. So he says that he's ready for people if they come out of the woodwork. He's ready mentally, it sounds like, for that, which is also smart because in the state of Wisconsin at the time that he won, you could not claim prizes anonymously. And that was the same for me when I won. And so if you do that, one of the consequences potentially for some people, especially with the major prizes, that people can come out of the woodwork. But it sounds like he doesn't have a problem saying no to people asking for money. And then he joked there about a relative. And I thought that that's kind of funny, but let's keep watching here. What have you been doing for work? Can you just give us something more general? So the second day of work, I, I after I knew that, I've, that I won, I, I honestly couldn't work. I was just, uh, I was sweating so much that uh, I'm sure that everyone at work noticed, but, and I really wanted to say something to anybody there, and I knew that it was a bad decision, and I pretty much never showed up for work again. That's what happened. Well, there we go. Now we know that he basically <laughs> decided after he won, he wasn't going to go back to work again. And can you really blame him? I interviewed a attorney who has represented, not his attorney, but another attorney who has represented quite a few lottery winners. I asked him that same thing. What happens? Do people keep working or not working? And from his experience with his clients, he said that most of the time people just do not keep working. If you don't have to do something like that for money, unless you really, really love it, then you're probably not going to do it. But if you really love your job, then you could stick with it. But it sounds like he did not stick with his job. So you quit your job the day after you're going to check your tickets? Two days after. So he quit his job two days after winning the lottery jackpot. And can you really blame him? When I go on any of those reality TV shows, you know, like Lottery Dream Home... I don't think so. <laughs> so he's saying that he's not going to go on a reality TV show. But I just want to say that he is definitely welcome on this podcast because we would love to host him absolutely. And I completely respect where he's coming from. I completely respect if people choose to speak publicly about their win or not. On this show, we can absolutely blur faces, disguise voices, or keep any sensitive information discreet out of the interview. And we certainly would love to host him on here if he's ever available because his story is fantastic. He seems like a great guy and we would love to hear more about his story and what he's done. So let's keep watching here. What was your biggest money concern before win? Um, trying to get that bank account to $1,000 was my biggest concern. Yeah, so. So before he won, his biggest concern was trying to get his bank account to $1,000. And now his bank, I mean, I can't, I don't know what his bank account is, but 
Imagine that that is your biggest concern and then or one of your biggest concerns and then you hit it big to the tune of a seven hundred and sixty eight million dollar annuitized jackpot. Awesome. Bought any more Powerball tickets? I don't plan to play anymore. <laughs> so that's interesting. He says he does not plan to play the lottery anymore. And I completely respect that. Uh, surprisingly, though, a lot of people that do win the lottery continue to play. Even people that have won billion dollar prizes continue, have continued to play because it's always possible. Some people do win twice, but he's saying that he is done with <laughs> this win, that he's not going to play anymore. So you have to respect that. And he certainly probably doesn't need the money. So let's keep going here. Now to clarify, did you say you actually winked at the camera or you felt like you did? I wanted to, I really did. And that's why I looked up and I didn't do it, no. So he didn't wink at the camera, but he was thinking about it. And the fact that he looked at the camera and he was thinking about winking tells me that perhaps he believed that he might win. He said that he was feeling lucky. I meet and interview people all the time who believed for one reason or another that they were going to win before it happened, or they had a hunch, or they were feeling very lucky, or for one reason or another, they just believed that it was not an accident. And I would love to ask him his thoughts on this type of thing, because he actually looked at the camera and said that he felt like winking. <laughs> so, I mean, he obviously was feeling lucky, but it's really an amazing story and good for him. So when you tell your family and friends that you win, what, what is their reaction? Uh, my dad cried a lot. Um, my mom, she thought I was in trouble. Uh, and she, she's, she's like, you need to tell me the truth. Like, is that really what, what happened? And I said, yes, mom, that, that is true. <laughs> reactions of other people i love listening to those as well because there are the people that are just like yay congratulations that's so awesome and then there are other people like like my mom for example she just didn't believe that it happened she didn't believe it when i told her and it sounds like his mom thought that he was in trouble or could be in trouble or <laughs> there's some sort of skepticism there initially it sounds like but it is interesting how people different people react when they hear that you've won the lottery are you still driving the same car you were driving when you were going to work yes <laughs> what is it uh, i'm not going to disclose that one anyway. <laughs> what year is it <laughs> it's newish <laughs> So as of the recording of this press conference, he was still driving the same car that he was prior to winning. And, you know, he probably didn't redeem the ticket too far prior to this press conference. And so I don't blame him for not getting another vehicle or maybe he just loves his vehicle. He seems like the type of person that is easing into this transition, which is very smart. Instead of just going out and buying all kinds of things, it seems like he's being thoughtful and trying to be very smart about the way in which and what he does with the money. So big props to him. Two and a half weeks been like for you, kind of keeping this away from the public eye. How have you been living your life? Have you been on the edge? Scared people are going to find out? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like I, like I said, like I, I honestly thought there was a, somebody behind me every single day. And uh, it, is, it is really hard to live your life um, knowing that you have, you know, the ticket that everyone wants. Um, but realistically, it, it, it wasn't that for me. And there was nobody behind me. I just felt that way. So again, he's speaking about the paranoia, I believe, of what he felt after he knew that he had the winning ticket. And I'm curious what he did with it right after he won before he turned it in. One of the first things I recommend that people do if you're watching this is to put it somewhere secure like a safety deposit box. But I completely understand because if you're holding or you have a piece of paper worth, in this case, hundreds of millions of dollars, I mean, that would make a lot of people a little paranoid. So I don't really blame him for that. What have you been doing with the ticket since the day when you realized you looked at it and you, you were won. on. Can you tell us what you did with it to secure it? Oh, to like to bring it here? Yeah, I mean, what if, where's the ticket been for the last three and a half weeks? Oh, I kept it in a safe, but in my house. Yeah. Yeah. Which is where? 
<laughs> Somewhere. Well, there we go. He kept it in a safe in his house. So he did put it someplace secure. I'm going to answer one more question and then uh, that's it. What's the next thing you're going to do when you walk out of here today as part of your winning? <laughs> I'm just going to take off somewhere and just honestly just take my time with it. Just think it over and I talk to my family and just make sure that I'm doing it. I'm spending the money the right way. Wow, good for him. So he won at the age of 24, won this massive $768 million jackpot. He seems like he is a very down-to-earth person who is being very careful to be wise about the changes in his life. He's not doing anything drastic from listening to this press conference. It doesn't seem like he's doing anything too drastic, which is very wise. He has a team behind him, helping him, attorneys, financial advisors, prior to even turning in the ticket. And his story is really incredible of looking up at the camera and feeling very lucky. And then it happened. And if Manuel Franco is listening to this video, I just wanna say you are more than welcome on this show anytime. We would love to hear from you. I know this was a few years ago, 2019, but I am so happy for him. It's unbelievable. And it seems like it couldn't have gone to a better person. So congratulations to him. Now, what did you think about this lottery news story? Let me know by commenting under this video. Remember, if you play the lottery, play responsibly, never spend more than you can afford to lose. Have fun, but remember that anything and everything is possible. And if you like this video, let YouTube and me know by smashing the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and enable all notifications to be notified when new videos like this one are released. As always, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your support.